I'm gonna test something out here. Apple claims that the uh, Mac Studio is seven by seven inches wide, three by seven inches deep, if you will, okay? Let's just see what that is in comparison to this. So this is seven and three quarter inches, one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter, you'll double that, you'll get basically two and a half, you triple that you'll get three and three quarters. So the Mac Studio is in essence three of these stacked on top of one another. That's still pretty dang small for all that power. Hey everyone, my name is Amir and welcome to Arc Overload. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five reasons why you should consider getting a Mac Studio, starting with this. Getting all that power, the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra. Listen, the only reason that the M1 Mac Mini is not my computer anymore is because Apple decided to create the M1 Max MacBook Pro, my dream laptop. I have been a desktop person for ages, forever. I had the 5K iMac Retina, all that kind of stuff. And finally, after getting the M1 Mac Mini, once they announced the MacBook Pros, I knew that this is what I wanted because I wanted to go mobile. But if that wasn't important for me, and if I didn't have the M1 Mac Mini, holy crap, I'd be all over this Mac Studio to get the power that I'm getting from the M1 Max, my M1 Max MacBook Pro, but in a compact design. As Genie says in Aladdin, phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty little bit space. Remember, three Mac Minis in one is still a small machine. And to be able to get all that computing power in that small machine, to me, sounds like a dream come true. Because again, because of that portability, because of that compact size, you can literally put it anywhere. You don't have to tuck it in underneath the desk. You can literally put it on the desk right there in front of you so that you have easy access to all the ports, the SD slot, all that kind of stuff, and have it work for you. That, to me, is a definite win. Number four goes back to to the Mac Mini. Listen folks, this machine is my favorite machine that Apple has ever made. And that includes the MacBook Pro M1 Max that I have. The reason why is because the M1 chip has no right being as powerful as it is, but it is. And with that being said, to be able to get the power of this, in fact, to get eight times the power, because as Apple announced in its event, the M1 Ultra chips are eight times more powerful than the M1 chips that are in this bad boy. And to get it basically in a package, like I said, triple the size, triple the height of this, the same width, but triple the height of this, that to me sounds amazing. This Mac mini that I have is the eight core CPU, eight core GPU, and 16 gigabytes of unified memory. The Mac Studio is basically my Mac Mini on steroids. You can get, instead of an eight core GPU, a 24 core GPU, 32 core GPU, 64 core GPU, and a compact design. It's the Mac Mini on steroids. And to me, the Mac Mini design is amazing because you can pair it with any display you want, including the Studio display, if that is what you wish. You're not bound to the display that comes with the iMacs or anything like that. You can get a bigger size screen and a 32 inch or hook it up to a TV if you want, or go smaller, whatever it is that works for your system, that works for your setup, the Mac Mini and the Mac Studio will allow you to do that. Now, the next reason that you should be getting a Mac Studio may sound silly, but it is 100% useful. The fact that an SD card slot is in the front of the machine, not the side, not the back, you don't need a dongle, you don't need anything like that. You literally take your SD card and boop, put it in the front and you are good to go. To me, screams from Apple, hi creative, we made this machine for you. We know that you record stuff all the time on Zoom recorders like I am right now for my audio or video cameras or anything that requires an SD card. You pop that thing out, pop it in your computer, no dongle needed, no nothing, not from the side, not from the back, right in the front to get that easy access to grab and go that SD card slot. Listen, I know it sounds ridiculous, but the fact that it's there is going to save you time and headache. And it's not gonna be like, oh, let me just grab this dongle or let me put it on the side or let me go fish in the back and see which one is what. It's like, no, I'm just going to pop it in right there and get access to my files immediately. Transfer speeds are gonna be fast. Your workflow is gonna be even faster because the access is right there. Love that feature. The next reason why I think you should be getting a Mac Studio is because of its portability. Now listen, I know this isn't a laptop, but just think about it for one second. Specifically, if you're, a, if you're an audio engineer and you have a lot of plugins that you're working with, think that you have now 
a mobile studio with you that is super powerful, then you don't have to rely on the limitations of a laptop. You have something that can give you 128 gigabits of unified memory, 64 core GPU if that is what you want. And like the demos that they showed us, at the Apple event with Ableton Live. Think of what you could do with Logic. Think of what you could do with Pro Tools. And now let's say you need to go on a remote recording session. And instead of bringing your iLock with you and worrying about you know if, if it's gonna work with your plugins or whatever, you simply unplug your machine, pick it up, go to wherever you need to go, plug in a monitor, and Bob's your uncle, you're ready to work. As long as you have your audio interface, then you are ready to go. Think of it the same way for video shoots. If you're working with giant files, with red files, with you know uh, whatever, cinema cameras or whatever, yeah, you can bring your laptop with you because it has a screen and all that kind of stuff, absolutely. But if you don't have that option, the portability of picking this up and taking it with you, something that you couldn't do with an iMac 27 inch, not because you couldn't lug it around, but because it was cumbersome, it was heavy, the edges were sharp. Did you ever pick up an iMac, by the way, and try to take it to the Apple store or the genius bar to have them take a look at it. It was a giant pain in the ass. The thing is heavy. The thing is uncomfortable to hold. You're scared that you're gonna drop it at any moment and it's gonna shatter everywhere. I hated taking that thing to the store. Instead, having something portable like the Mac Studio where you can just pick it up, put it on your arm and go put it in a bag, put it in a suitcase, whatever. Something that's compact that you can take that you can make sure that everything is good to go. Oh, and by the way, the hard drive is solid state so you don't have to worry about parts moving around or anything like that. You can literally just pick up and go. I love that feature. I love the fact that that's a thing. No one's really talking about it because everyone's just thinking, oh, I'm just gonna plop it on my desktop and that's it. But no, you can take this thing with you to remote recording sessions, to remote video shoots, if you absolutely need to. If you don't have a laptop that can handle what you need to do, this machine can come with you wherever you need it to go. And finally, the number one reason why you should be getting a Mac Studio, to be very honest with you, the price is awesome. I have a 24 core GPU M1 Max MacBook Pro with 32 gigabytes of unified memory. That configuration of the M1 Max MacBook Pro cost me $29.99 before tax. That exact same configuration on the Mac Studio is $1,000 less. Now, granted, the Mac Studio doesn't include the keyboard or the mouse or the screen. Those are all additional things that you'll have to purchase. But if you already have those things, if you already have peripherals that you like to use, like a keyboard and a mouse, if you already have a screen, awesome. And if you don't and you wanna splurge and get the studio display or go on Amazon and get an amazing 4K screen for half the price of the studio display, granted it doesn't come with all the ports and connectivity and all that kind of stuff that you will have with the studio display, but still you'll have a gorgeous display that you can pair with any speakers that you want, all that kind of stuff, and it'll pair beautifully with your Mac Studio, then you are good to go. A $2,000 entry price to me for this machine with this amount of power is a huge win. I have now edited every single video that I've made on my M1 Max MacBook Pro since the day I got it. It is a beast. I've never heard the fan kick in once. And even though the Mac Studios have the two giant fans to cool down the M1 Ultra chip, you won't have to worry about that because if you go in at the $19.99 price, you'll be getting the M1 Max chip and you will be future-proofed for a very long time. That M1 Max chip is not going anywhere. Now, if you want the M1 Ultra, by all means, go ahead and do so. Starting price of $39.99, keep that in mind. But at the $19.99 entry point, the Mac Studio to me is a huge win and an absolute game changer and a huge reason to go in and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make this investment. So there it is, folks. Those are my top five reasons why you should be getting a Mac Studio. What do you think of the Mac Studio? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you can, please consider subscribing as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers here on this ARC Overload channel. I love talking about tech. I'm a creative, so I love talking about creative stuff. I'm a musician. I love making videos, that kind of content. And I also love productivity. So expect that kind of stuff here on ARC Overload, how to improve your productivity, how to be at your best, talking about the best tech to get, talking about how to be creative. If you want to join me on this journey, I would greatly appreciate your company. Help me to get to that thousand subscriber milestone. I would absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. And again, leave me your thoughts on what you think about the Mac Studio. Is this something that you're excited to get? Or is this something that you're like, you know what, I'm going to wait because I know they're going to come out with that Mac Pro. They said as much at the Apple event. So we'll see just how much crazier they can get. Because to me, what they announced with the M1 Ultra already is pretty insane. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
My name is Amir, and I'll see you in the next video.